This is the integrated math one practice test for TCAP or 10 ready. This is question number 17. Um, I, the statements love these with all their hearts because they tend to put these types of questions on things. The graph of the function f of x is the equation of a and the equation of a different function are given. So they draw a graph of f of x and then they tell you this. Select all values of x for which x of f of x equals g of x. This is a systems of equations question. The bigger issue here is they want to know at what points they intersect. So they may, because of the nature of this being x squared, they may want you to uh, have, they may be t more than one. Two is probably the maximum that you could have intersection points. So I'm going to sort of look at this as an in an old school way. I'm going to graph this by hand and then just look at it. You'll notice that uh, each one of these tick marks represents 2, so negative 2 would be here. So I need to go up 2 and over 1, which would be right... I made a dot in the wrong spot right there. Up 2 and over 1 goes here. Up 2 and over 1. Up 2 and over 1. By the way, I should have said mx plus b. This would represent the y-intercept of negative 2, and this is the m, so that's the change part, and this is 2 over 1. That's where I'm getting the 2 over 1 part that I keep bringing up but never actually doing anything with. And then it goes up 2 over 1, and up 2 over 1. So. I'll go down from here, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. So I've got a an intersection here, and I've got an intersection probably right here as well. So I'm looking for specific x values where they uh, interact, so it looks very clearly to me that at negative 2 there's one. And the other one is all the way up here at positive 8 for a y value, but they're asking about the x, so I would say 2, 4, 5. And now I have to scroll and ruin all my hard work. So negative 2 and also negative 5. That's the way that I would end up doing it, just because it's easier for me to visualize. Could you try to guesstimate what this function is in the calculator and graph both of them? Yes. Uh, what else could you do? I mean, you could graph 2x minus 2 in a calculator and then put the points where you think they would go and dot them, but to me it's so much easier on that one just to put the dots in yourself, but remember they're trying to always do something to make you get the wrong answer so it looks like that, you know, people in tennis, the students in Tennessee don't know what they're doing, but really they're just being tricked by questions that are um, overly tricky. If you have a scale value of 2, but this changes 2 over 1, don't do this where you have, this is this indicates you're going over 2 and over 2, so this would be a 1 over 1x change. So make sure that you put your points in the right spot when you match it up, and then get as close as you can to where the answers are. Uh, you'll notice, by the way, that this is sort of questionable whether it crosses right here. That's like almost a little bit more than 5 but the answers themselves are far enough apart to where you're not going to make a, a big splash trying to pick 5.5. That's not one of the choices. You don't have to choose between those. 5 and 8 is very separate. But they did put in the y values that would match appropriately. Down here, uh, there's an intersection like in this location, so you might pick negative 3 thinking about the y. Make sure you answer the question they ask, and they ask for the x value of the coordinates where they intersect. So don't fall for their tricks, and you'll get the right answer.